Hey, thanks guys. Hey, it's Anthony. You guys have been killing me for the 2010 Brunello tasting. So, uh, without further ado, 2010, uh, widely considered one of our great vintages uh, of the past few decades, as we have many here in Montalcino, yeah? This is 2010, guys, uh, really magnificent wine. Wanted to give it a tasting, wow. That color's just beautiful. Uh, yeah, a little touch of brown, brune, brune, yeah. Wow. Uh, listen, guys, loads of earth here. Uh, bottle's been open now for about an hour, so it's had a chance to really express uh, some of the terroir. A lot of nice uh, white flower, cherry blossom, huh? Little touch of roasted chestnut in here. Really, 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 uh, a beautiful aroma. Let's get to the tasting, yeah? Well, uh, balance, 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 balance. Really uh, dancing acidity, yeah? Uh, and, and pretty much what Poggio Rubino is known for. Get a nice underlay there of uh, some bright raspberry, but uh, underneath it, it just turns to black cherry as you start to uh, uh, finish the wine. Really, really, really nice. Uh, I gotta tell you, the longer this wine sits open, uh, the more of that wild herb comes out. Many of you guys know uh, that I pride these wines on its wild herbs, uh, the sage and the rosemary, uh, uh, the bay leaf uh, just comes pouring out of the wine, but here we've got this really, really nice, powerful fruit. Again, medium bodied and, and just really, really well balanced wine. It gives you a full mouth feeling. Uh, uh, so I feel it on the top of my palate. I feel it on the bottom back end of my palate. Uh, the tip of my tongue is, uh, again, kind of tingling from that, uh, that acidity. Uh, a, a well-balanced alcohol here, uh, which helps to support this acidity throughout uh, the life and the aging of the wine, uh, which is going to be 10, 15, 20 years. I prefer that you drink them when they're young and vibrant. Uh, however, <laughs> we all know that Brunello di Montalcino is one of the longest living wines made uh, in the bottle. We'll surpass your Bordeaux's. Uh, will surpass your Napa cabs, yeah. Uh, true elegance here, refinement uh, is, is a great word. A lot of finesse from the winemaker. You really, really see our winemaker's footprint uh, on these wines, yeah. Um, just really, really, just gorgeous. Little porcini starting to come out here, yeah. Uh, essence of that of that wild forest we're surrounded by. Poggio Rubino can uh, ensemble our, our, our wines, uh, southern vineyards, northern vineyards, western, southwestern, uh, coming together, uh, really. So the, the best uh, attributes from uh, these three different sides of Montalcino, which are wildly different, yes? Uh, great mineral core here. Uh, Acidity will bring this guy into the future. And again, five-star rated. One thing that I do uh, uh, agree with all of our critics and wine publications from around the world, that this is one really beautiful bottle of wine, yeah? Uh, I, I'm just getting loads of black cherry just settling on my palate. Let's give it one more whirl, huh? Mm. Absolutely delicious, uh, a really beautiful, stunning wine, a great vintage for us, uh, highly recommended. It's uh, right now at $51 on your table. I don't think that there's one boutique, handmade, artisan bottle of Brunello that you're going to find in America uh, at $50 a bottle delivered to your table. Yeah, uh, it, it's almost... That it is impossible. Uh, yes, there is Brunello out there, more of your mass-produced or valley floor uh, kind of wineries and wines. Uh, <laughs> nothing like this, yeah? Uh, a truly remarkable bottle of wine and uh, absolutely should be on your tables at home. 2010 Poggio Rubino uh, uh, Brunello di Montalcino, by far uh, standing out uh, among the group, yes? Uh, 
shoot me an email, afrevoletti at yahoo.com. I'll make sure you get some. Uh, it's going fast. Most United States importers have already bought up most of this wine, and Canadian importers, and European importers, and Asian importers, and you name it. So uh, do have a couple hundred cases left over there, so uh, certainly give me a, a, an email. A. Frevoletti, F as in Frank, R. E. V as in Victor, E. L. E. T. T. I. at Yahoo. Uh, you, uh, you will be rewarded. Okay, guys, uh, thanks very much. Ciao.